So you're thinking about moving to Virginia Beach? Well, today we're going to visit some waterfront neighborhoods in the city so you can see what it's like and you can see if it fits in with your lifestyle. If this is your first time on the channel, then click subscribe and press the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know all about the market in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Let's get started. The waterfront neighborhoods we're looking at today are all in the eastern part of the city. Let's take a look at Shadow Lawn. Shadow Lawn is located a couple of blocks west of the oceanfront, and the bodies of water that make this a waterfront neighborhood are Lake Rudy and Lake Holly. The homes in Shadow Lawn include condos, townhomes, and single family homes that were built between the 1930s and today. These homes have between three to six bedrooms and range in size from about 500 to over 6,000 square feet. If you wanna live in Shadow Lawn, expect to spend between the mid 200s up to about $1.1 million. Shadow Lawn is zoned for First Colonial High School. Now let's talk about some things to do in Shadow Lawn. Shadow Lawn not only has homes, but it also has restaurants such as Rockefeller's, Rudy's and Big Sam's, which are seafood restaurants. And there's also a restaurant called Zeke's Beans and Bowls, which has acai and poke bowls. And there are several other restaurants in the neighborhood as well. This neighborhood also has the Virginia Beach Fishing Center and the Rudy Inlet Marina. If you're looking for recreation, Marshview Park is in the neighborhood and has a dog park, a playground, and several multi-use trails. Let's head over to Croatan. Croatan is located just south of the oceanfront beach and the bodies of water that make this a waterfront neighborhood are the Atlantic Ocean, Lake Christine, and Lake Wesley. The homes in Croatan were built between the 1960s and today. They have between two to 10 bedrooms, and the sizes range from about 2,000 square feet to over 8,000 square feet. If you want to live in Croatan, you can expect to pay between 800,000 to over $4 million. Most of the people who live in this neighborhood are year-round residents, but there are also a few short-term rentals in the neighborhood as well. Croatan is zoned for First Colonial High School. The beach in the Croatan neighborhood is called Croatan Beach. And this beach is popular for local surfers. It has a boardwalk to the beach, a public parking lot, and public restrooms and showers. Let's check out Sandbridge. Sandbridge is located south of Croatan Beach in the southeast corner of the city. The bodies of water that make Croatan waterfront are the Atlantic Ocean and Back Bay. Sandbridge has both condos and single family homes. And although most of the residents of the neighborhood live there year round, there are many short term rentals and this is a popular vacation destination. The homes in Sandbridge were built between the early 1950s and today and have between one and 15 plus bedrooms. They range in size from about 1,000 square feet to over 11,000 square feet. And if Sandbridge is your neighborhood of choice, be prepared to spend between about 400,000 to over $4 million. Sandbridge is zoned for Kellum High School. Let's talk about some things to do in Sandbridge. Sandbridge has a corner store called the Sandbridge Seaside Market. It has groceries and it also has everything you'd need for a day at the beach. One of the treats at the Sandbridge Seaside Market is their fresh donuts. If you want to get fresh donuts, you need to get there early though because they sell out pretty quickly. There's a city park in the neighborhood called Little Island Park, which has a playground and picnic tables. There's also a canoe and kayak launch. And one of the big draws for the neighborhood is the Little Island Fishing Pier. What are some things to do 
that are easily accessible for all the neighborhoods we talked about today. Well, of course, there's the oceanfront. So at the oceanfront, of course, there's the beach and there's a lot of shopping and restaurants and entertainment. And just south of the oceanfront, there's Ocean Breeze Water Park, which has the standard water park rides, you know, a lazy river, flume rides, wave pool, and part of Ocean Breeze is Motor World, which has go-karts and lots of rides. Also in that area of the city is the Virginia Aquarium, which won an award from TripAdvisor. And part of the Virginia Aquarium is the Adventure Park, which is a ropes course. The large city park in the area is Red Wing Park, which is known for its Japanese garden and its cherry blossom trees. It's the home of the city's annual Cherry Blossom Festival. This park also has tennis courts, multi-use trails, playgrounds, a dog park, and so much more. Thanks for coming along on the tour of waterfront neighborhoods in Virginia Beach, Virginia. If you think Virginia Beach is the place for you, whether you're moving in a matter of days, weeks, or months, feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, or schedule a video call so we can talk all about your move to Virginia Beach, Virginia. Until next time when I'll be showing you around town.